So from the inside, Purdue starting in lane two. That's a tight, tight turn on this little 200-meter track. And it's Arkansas in three, Florida in four, LSU and Oregon. And LSU and Florida making a major move to try to get the pole position. That is Benjamin Lobo Vidal of Florida, and he did not get it. It goes to LSU's Corian Mosby, but Vidal right there poised to make a move. Mosby was eighth in the 200 meters yesterday. Lobo Vidal was the winner of the Invitational 400 meters, and you want to put this thing away early. What do you do? Put the winner of the 400 meters on that first leg. Smartly run backstretch by Lobo Vidal, just a sophomore at Florida. He will hand off to Grant Holloway, who ran the number nine all-time 60-meter dash earlier today, along with jumping 26-3 at three-quarters in the long jump last night. And look who's at number two for LSU. That's Jerron Flournoy. Certainly, Dwight, you've seen him on a number of occasions, but he looked like he was grabbing Holloway's jersey before they took off, and Holloway was swatting his hand away. A little uh, gamesmanship here as they took off. Holloway with about a 10-meter lead over Flournoy, and that's not getting smaller. Holloway will be handing off to Corey Poole, the Florida sophomore, and Flournoy handing off to Christian Boyd, the senior from LSU. Well, what's so amazing about Holloway is sometimes you think the energy systems don't complement each other. He's a short sprinter, so how can he be so great at the 400 meters? You know, he, he's a hurdler. He only needs to run in a straight line, but Florida always trains their guys for multiple disciplines. We saw that with Christian Taylor, triple jumper in a 400 meters. It's no surprise that they continue to do it today. Well, the gap just continues to widen between Florida and LSU as Corey Poole doing a nice job on this third carry. He will hand off to Chance Sawyers, the Florida sophomore. Well, I love 400-meter hurdlers, especially in this race. They always seem like they're a little bit stronger. They always seem like they're a little bit more fit, and Corey Poole certainly showed that. Three sophomores and a junior on this Florida 4x400 relay, so a lot more experience to be gained. For LSU, that is Tyler Terry on anchor for them. And Purdue has managed to work themselves into third place. Brian Faust, the sophomore, running for them. And Oregon is well back. But all they have to do is finish and not be disqualified. And even if they score a point, two points absolutely ices it for them. So Florida is going to bring it home, the winner, followed by LSU, then Purdue, and then well back is Oregon. 304-45 unofficially for the Gators. And they've still got four weeks to get better for the SEC meet that will be right back here. And then the NCAA is ultimately the second weekend in March.